What's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to episode 18 of Super Switchheads. Uh, we are your hosts. My name is David. I'm Patrick. Hey, I'm Matthew. And uh, this is Super Switchheads, the yeah. premier Nintendo podcast on all of the internet. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Just the three of us today. Yeah. No guests. Hey, maybe we'll do that every once in a while. Yeah, maybe we'll do that every once in a while. It's a, it's, it, we figured it was going to be a packed-ass episode already as it was so it should maybe just be the three of us. We're going to be going over all of our E3 predictions, rumors, leaks, our wants, desires, what we think is going to be there, what we hope is going to be there. It's going to be a really nice episode. Uh, I'm very excited. A couple of caveats about sure. this episode. Uh, we're recording in a different space than we usually do. <laughs> yeah. I can't see Matt very well. <laughs> <laughs> it's tight quarters. I'm but just... I can see both of you. <laughs> Full disclosure. I'm in the hospital. I'm fine. <laughs> we hope. I'm, I'm, I'm getting better. I had a I had a light surgery or two on <laughs> or Wednesday. Two. It was two. <laughs> it was two surgeries. Uh, not a big deal. Okay, it's a big deal. But it's fine. We're doing the podcast. This is how committed we are to you, right. audience. All yeah. right, listen. Basically. I'm in the hospital. I'm going to be fine. I'm learning how to walk and poop again. But until then, we're going to be coming at you with hot Nintendo news because it's the only thing keeping me alive. We are currently in a hospital room with our microphones connected to a wheelie food cart. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Every it, single one of the like hospital attendants looked at you guys really weird. As we oh, yeah. carried in all this equipment. Yeah, we carried in all this equipment. Well, I didn't. I'm in a wheelchair. But, <laughs> but you're right, David. This is how committed we are to bringing you the latest <laughs> Nintendo news. And you can only find it here, folks. Folks. Second caveat, we are recording this before the Pokemon Direct happens on uh, Wednesday morning, so we aren't going to be talking about that. That's right. That's right. Um, that'll be going up basically right before we publish our episode, uh, but we'll be getting into some of the highlights of that next week. Uh, next hope week you is, enjoyed it. Yeah, we hope, we hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't watched it, what are you doing? It's just sitting yeah, there on go, the internet go. waiting go for right you to now. watch. All this juicy... Wait, don't go. Yeah. <laughs> Stay here. Yeah, listen to this, then go. Yeah, then go. Okay, <laughs> pause it. And you're back. All right, cool. Oh, that was great, wasn't it? Real quick. Also, we've got some more five star reviews on Apple Podcasts, and I just want to say thanks to Breaking Fan and <laughs> Trodden Snow <laughs> for doing that. And if you're listening and you haven't given us a five star review, why not? Oh, yeah, come on, hey do. man, it's a free country. Or, you, can't, or don't. you can't make people. Let's review get that us. sympathy vote. We are recording in <laughs> a hospital. True. That's Please true. Give us a review. Right. Donate to my. Search. If you're not going to donate to my GoFundMe for my medical costs, <laughs> the least you can do is give us a five star review on iTunes. All right. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, let's hop in. To the news, let's yes. the news. There's, a lot. there's a lot uh let's talk about new uh smash brothers version 3.1.0 yeah 3.1 came out and oddly this had a lot of stuff in it for a non uh major number update yeah well there was balanced stuff there was well yeah yeah well, well, there was balanced stuff which i want to talk about a lot okay but, um the, they added the labo vr stuff that's so weird it is very weird and it seems like it's just a novelty from everything I've read and, and seen. I think it comes in pairing with the Amiibo battle arenas. Yeah. So you right. take your Amiibo, watch them battle, update. and watch it in VR. That's a fair point. I hadn't seen, I'd seen, you know, people say those are the two, two of the parts of the update, but putting them together actually makes a lot more sense. Oh, so you can kind of passively watch your Amiibo fight in VR and you don't have to worry exactly. about so to be making clear, good moves or whatever. To be clear, they added, so you can now. I think you've been able to make amiibo fighters already. So you create sort of an AI driven character with your amiibo. Right. A, a and figure it learns. Player. Right, right, right. And now there are amiibo battle arenas where you can fight your amiibo or, or figure fighters or whatever online, online right. against other and, people. And this, and just for the record, this comes before you can play with somebody locally in a battle arena. Or play an AI <laughs> bot as a player. <laughs> right. This, that, the, the Amiibo Battle Arenas is the dumbest update I've ever heard of in my entire life. <laughs> is the VR update not the dumbest update? Well, okay, well, that's dumb, but at least it's <laughs> weird and interesting. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. we have a Super Switch head who is playing this. Uh, I was talking to Lee Housen. Okay. Um, yeah. And Lee has been training his cloud on this. And he told me that, so you you basically practice with it, and it learns like a machine learning and then it goes <laughs> online to play other Amiibo, but it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to see the recording of your fight. What is going on? Really? Yeah. <laughs> that is really strange. But he says it's really cool to, like, it's Is like, his cloud winning? 
I, I guess. Yeah, it's doing really well. It says it beats him a lot. Wow. So he says he's having a really has fun. He, has he tried it. the VR mode yet? He does have a labo. Yeah. Have any of you tried the VR mode? Uh-uh. No. We need to ask James if he has. I know. God, man. That's really odd. Well, um, they also, as you, as somebody said, I think it's David said, mm-hmm. they, they, uh, they did some buffs and nerfs. Maybe the most substantial um, since since release, or at least it seems like it because they they uh they buffed a lot of the lower tiered characters uh, hit me with some of those deets i don't have a lot uh, of them I, have a, of I have a few me, suggestions Ken, uh, so yeah got, go ahead. who i play with got a lot of buffs and i watched people playing with them now and mm-hmm. you can string crazy combos together ryu got some buffs too yeah right? they, i think there's both of them yeah yeah they're, yeah, they're yeah like, ryu and ken got buffs to where it's like four or five hits and it breaks their shield I watched it's somebody insane. juggle somebody with a ki- and without dropping them and kill. Wow! And from zero to kill. That's cool. Well, Falcon got some buffs too, right? Falcon got buffs. My boy Falcon. I love playing as Falcon. Yeah, that's might give me the. I jump think uh, Pichu uh, got some debuffs, and Peach did too. Yeah, yeah. Pichu's some of the all, all his attacks damage him more now. Yeah, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Some of the high tiered characters got uh, some nerfs. So it's good. I mean, it's definitely it shows that they are cognizant of what's going on in the community and the complaints that some people are having about the really high powered characters. So I think I'm all for it. I think it's great because yeah, we're like, I'd love for it to be more even with 75 characters to see more characters being used in tournaments. And stuff, right. You know? Right. I think I, it's just nice that we're getting patch notes, you know, like every day that we get one of these updates <laughs> and we get patch notes about every single change. It's really just going through the smash four <laughs> shit with no patch notes and everybody having to figure it out. This is really nice. <laughs> so something I wanted to mention too about this is you guys hear about tournament theory, which is, uh, 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 so there's people on, on, I think it was this people from reset era or reset era, whatever you prefer. Uh, I think we, Resetera. from reset era <laughs> who, um, who posit this theory. Uh, and I'm just mentioning it cause it's interesting. I actually don't think it's true. Uh, that these are some significant, uh, balance updates that are happening in a point one, and when his, previously we've been getting them with the with the release of a new character, right? And right, so right. they think that maybe a new they're doing this in anticipation of the June eighth uh, mm. tournament, and that they're going to drop a new character there, and so people these would have gone with 4.0. Right, right, right. Uh, but they're just going to release a character on June eighth to be available for the people at the tournament. That makes E3. sense. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. I, Data I, miners, get on it. See if you can find anything. <laughs> I don't think that's true because I don't think Nintendo cares that much about the tournaments. You know what I mean? Well, I don't think that they're going to do a character reveal at the tournament. Right. I, I think they I would don't save that, that for like two days right, later during it, their during presentation. During the direct. And so yeah, I just yeah. don't think that makes sense. But it's an interesting theory. Yeah. Um, and I, another reason I don't think it makes sense is because number, the tournament at E3 is really weird. Have you guys looked at the rules? No. Yeah, it they has, use smash balls. It has, it has items. Has low items, uh-huh. no pokeballs or or assist trophies, but it has items. Weird, and it's like a three v three, like squad strike kind of. It's it's weird. It's just like it starts with one v one, then it goes two v two, then three v during the rounds and seeding. Mm-hmm. And it's and it's got um, t- it's like timed battles instead of stock. Mm. It's it's very strange. And, yeah, and so that uh, sounds like not fun. Kot- Kotaku <laughs> talked to Bill Trinan about it. Yeah. And and another reason I don't think that tournament theory is true or whatever is that uh, Bill Trinan talked about this being sort of a bridge for casual players mm-hmm. and the 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 like you know professional or or whatever we want to call the people sure. that play it at a high yeah, level because yeah. uh, it's kind of play. yeah the competitive players so it's because it's kind of in between. So I just thought that was interesting. And a lot, you should read that Kotaku article because it's kind of – I like Bill Trennan. I, Bill Trennan seems like a really cool dude. Yeah, We got to get Bill on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he'd do it. I bet he'd do it. For if, you, if you don't know, he's like a Nintendo – like he does a lot of the translation for yeah, Japanese for like, people. For like 20 years, he, did, he was the translator for Shigeru Miyamoto and now he's like one of the high ups in the company. And he's talks a lot at E3 and stuff. But anyway um, – Moving on, sure. <laughs> uh, it's also about Smash, though, or possibly. Uh, there's been a lot of interesting Banjo Kazooie uh, news leaks. I don't. I guess it's just a lot kind of, of speculation. Speculation. That's yeah. the word we need. Um, so, among other things, there's been a lot of Banjo Kazooie merchandise mm-hmm. coming out lately, which 
and being featured prominently as being at E3 and that kind of thing. There's there's some I've never seen these before, but there's something called cable guys statues mm -hmm. where you, they're like little figurines where they can hold your cables or controllers. Or, or uh, yeah, I've seen ones where they kind of hold your switch. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, they just have their hands out like they're offering you and, a peace and you, offering. And there's smaller ones you can just put like your you know PlayStation controller in or right, whatever. Right, right. And there's a banjo kazooie one that just got announced, and I guess on. There's a, there was also another Banjo Kazooie statue recently announced, and there's a Banjo Kazooie stuffy plush that just got announced, or it, maybe it's actually been around for a while, but they're they're doing big push for it at E3, yeah. and they all have kind of a slightly different design but than like what we've seen in previous games. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Their backpack like, is like got the more updated rare symbol on right, it, right, and right. Like different stitching, almost like Whoa. it's based on a new render, right. maybe. Yeah, but yeah. also. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, who knows? It, it, the The internet is a buzzing with Banjo Kazooie. So it's recently. either we're going to get Banjo and Smash, right. yeah. we're going to get a new Banjo game, or we're going to get uh, both. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, both. That's yeah, what yeah. I want. or uh, <laughs> uh, uh, a rare replay, right? On yeah, sure. that, Xbox Game Pass, sure. Or coming to on the Switch. Switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's and, lots of possibilities. And um, the, one of the makers of the or the makers of the that. Cable Guy statue. They're called Exquisite Gaming. Papa, G we should give some credit to Papa Gino's for some of this stuff. That's yeah, he's where, been covering tons of this banjo stuff. Yeah, he's been talking about uh, these Smash rumors and and Banjo Kazooie in particular. And he was tweeting with somebody else about this statue and being like, oh, "Don't these statues usually kind of coincide with something?" Because the I guess a few have, like the Crash one came out around the time the trilogy mm -hmm, came out, the and, et cetera, et cetera. And then Exquisite Gaming, who makes these. These these uh, kind of tweeted back uh, something like we couldn't say you know yeah, we could like, never possibly tell and because number one they probably don't know but they're try probably just trying to get traffic but uh, yeah 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 but it's working I guess I mean uh, it, there could very well be also that one person started a banjo rumor and then just this is cascaded into everybody doing banjo oh, rumors yeah you know what I mean and like the, these companies playing it up because they know about it but but there was a bit of news that dropped just today basically that uh, added just tons of fuel to the fire uh, on. Uh, Resetera uh, <laughs> user Shinobi602 who is an admin on the website uh, he made a post that basically said something to the effect of it's been a long time since Banjo's been in a game it sure would be a smashing good time now if this was just any schmo on the internet saying this yeah, that, a hope, yeah right. whatever it's like that could be anybody could say that but Shinobi602 uh, is a noted leaker and has leaked a lot of stuff in the past that has all come true and uh, with a lot of details like for instance gears of war 4 Ooh. i think he leaked that uh that the uh that god of war would be set within norse mythology you know he also leaked ridley and smash so it's like a lot of this stuff has gotten right stuff that he's predicted and um so everybody's pretty much going hog wild Man, right now and uh, a lot get, of people are like straight up this get, kind of confirms it but I don't, I don't know if i'd go that far but it's uh it's definitely interesting. Yeah. Um, there was a uh, Indie World presentation in Japan on May 31st, which is kind of their Nindies. I don't know why they don't call it Nindies. Oh, they have different names for everything. In the UK, they call or it... Is it not Nindies in the they, UK? They, they call it Indie something. It's just something. in America that they call yeah, it Nindies. Yeah, yeah, okay, well, that's yeah. why. It's a different region. Um, so that happened, and there wasn't really a whole lot of new stuff. I think it was mostly games from the West that hadn't come out there or just people mm -hmm. weren't weren't big there they're all released here except they did give some more footage for cadence of hyrule the mm -hmm. zelda crossover with uh crypt of the necro dancer it's looking pretty good and they gave a release window of june which kind of lines up they already said spring and june yeah. is the end of spring so <laughs> but that's uh, coming soon sooner than i expected yeah, yeah. so it's got to be sometime this month we should see cadence of hyrule yeah and we'll get into some of that a little bit in the uh, e3 predictions <laughs> Most definitely. but uh but yeah it's it's looking pretty good you guys watch this trailer i i watched you know what i didn't even have a chance because i was out of town when it happened um i kind of looked at some screenshots but, yeah um, i need to go back and the watch game's it. looking like really polished you know honestly. they showed the, more enemies and stuff yeah it looks like they've been working on this game for a long time you know because it's the graphic style is a great blend of the kind of character design of Crypt of the Necrodancer and the 16-bit era Zeldas. And, uh, man, it's just looking really great. This is going to be one that I pick up pretty much right away. I'm excited about it. Um, and then I think, David, you can talk more about this. But in other Japan news, uh, Nintendo s took – a company called Marikar, or that was their old name, and they had to change it to something. Oh no, like no, Mari they're Mobility. still called they're still called Marikar. Okay, I think, yeah. Um, 
but they took him to court for the second time and won some judgment. And I don't know Japanese law at all, but um, I guess that this company has like go karts that you can ride in Japan and maybe in Tokyo or yeah, somewhere. They're yeah. like, or like Kyoto, s- I don't know. Segway tours, but instead of segways, you dress up as Mario Kart characters <laughs> on go karts. On go karts that are like colored like the Mario character go karts. Non licensed. And, and yeah, point. you know, non licensed at all, right? And and you drive them through the streets of Tokyo, like through busy traffic and that shit. That seems illegal, right there. Yeah, but. well, it's apparently not. I mean, it's like <laughs> it's just as legal as like bird scooters. <laughs> you know well, what that's I mean? fair. <laughs> <laughs> but um, apparently, there's been no deaths or accidents up to this point amazingly Good for them uh but but yeah so nintendo had already uh sued them before and i guess i guess you are right they did they, they was to change their name it used to be called mari car which is obviously like mario kart uh, you know the japanese are all about those kind of uh what do you call those when you kind of just right. smash two words together like pokemon is one of those you know uh and Portmanteau. so yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh and so basically they had uh, already taken them to court and won. Um, but the way that Japanese uh, copyright law works, um, they were basically only fined what amounted to about $87,000. It's not like here in the U.S. where basically you can sue someone for millions and millions of dollars mm-hmm. in damages. It's kind of taken way down a notch in Japan. So basically this company paid the fine, uh, slapped – uh, stickers on the carts that said not affiliated not, with Nintendo yeah. or something like that and uh, and just started back up again and Nintendo oh, with a new name that's very similar yeah exactly Nintendo uh, sued them again and uh, it's I, I just find this story very heartwarming <laughs> heartwarming <laughs> yeah, I don't know lawsuits just, are heartwarming so yeah. I don't know something about it is just like it's like the little engine that could you know <laughs> and it's so and, you're on their side well, I mean, Mari, I'm, I'm, Mari Car Mari Mobility I mean I'm I'm a big uh, I've never been a big proponent of copyright law as it exists today. I think that there's a lot that could be changed about copyright law. Personally, that's just me personally. A lot of people have different opinions on it. But um, I just find this really fascinating that people, you know, they found something that worked. They found an audience that would pay for it. And and they've done as much of their due diligence as they can or at, okay as little of their due diligence as they can get away with uh in changing this stuff you know what i mean and i just i don't know i like a good underdog fight story so <laughs> i thought it was kind of cute it does look fun yeah. i saw like yeah. some pictures of people they've been doing it for how many years like a decade something like that yeah, yeah. a really it, it's long a huge time. tourist trap like a lot of people from overseas yeah. will come and I, do it. if i were nintendo the only reason that i would go after this company is because Nintendo World is coming to Universal Studios Tokyo, right. and maybe there's a Mario Kart ride at uh, Nintendo World. Yeah, that would make sense, and that would be uh, competition. Right, right, right. Yep. I don't know. I think I think the think only about. way that Nintendo is really ba- basically based on Japanese copyright law, I think the only way that Nintendo is going to be able to stop this is to buy them out and then shut it down. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then even at this point, like, these guys are so up, stubborn, yeah. they might not even sell it. <laughs> you know? So uh, I just find this story to be pretty funny. Uh, so a couple of uh, non-Nintendo news items here, uh, and we'll we'll hear more about the, both of these at E3, but X. Box Game Pass got announced for PC. Mm. So I guess it, it it has PC games uh, rather than like, you know, console games, but it sounds like Xbox is, or Microsoft is planning on releasing sort of their new games on both platforms and, and they'll be available on there. Those are supposed to be like day and date releases in the future, right? I think so. That's yeah. correct. That's yeah. my understanding. And they said that there will be more information at E3 and... Um, I'm sure they have, they got to fill that two hour direct with something. <laughs> yeah, uh, I can't wait. <laughs> two hour presentation. Oh yeah, man. it's not a direct one. Yeah. Um, and then Stadia announced, or Google announced that they are doing a Stadia Connect presentation. <laughs> they call it Connect, you guys. It sounds uh, like another word. Sounds like a dir- I don't know. Let's yeah, figure it out. I can't figure it out. I can't wait for the Microsoft Erect. <laughs> <laughs> so that Stadia Connect is happening on Thursday, uh, June sixth at eleven a.m. Central Time, and I'm, I'm. It's you know they had said they would give us more information about like the when that's going to come out and the pricing and what games will be on it, so we can probably expect those things. Yeah, I'm. I'm very eager to see if it's going to be that you pay for each game or it's a subscription model because I think they could either honestly go either way. You know, uh, you have any thoughts on that, Matt? The Stadia thing? I'm uh, I'm skeptical. Really? <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. skeptical. It's Google. Yeah, they 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 give up on stuff. 
I, oh, exactly. That's the thing. <laughs> that's true. I never put my finger on it. Why? I just feel skeptical. But that's. I think that's it. They always put new stuff out and then give up on it a year later. Yeah, so I saw like, a list once of like the like three hundred things that <laughs> Google has started and then killed. Yeah, <laughs> it's um, pretty sad. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I, either way, I think it's interesting. And I, either way, I think it's a trend that's going to be going forward, this Absolutely. streaming thing. So I think it's worth keeping an eye on because I think every, everybody's going to be following su- suit, including Nintendo. Yeah. And maybe they will make the errors and mistakes that other companies will then <laughs> sure. uh, fix once they quit. <laughs> They're guinea pigging it for us. Um, but moving, moving, now moving back to Nintendo and kind of transitioning us into our main topic. Uh, I think we, we may have mentioned Sabi, the, the leaker, either on the show before and maybe even in this episode. I'm not sure if we did. But uh, on Twitter, he posted up a picture of a bunch of uh, SKUs uh, for yeah, SKUs. Or SKUs. SKU. Uh, it's SKU. Eh? <laughs> um, for uh, Switch games at GameStop, there are like 21 of them. And um, some of them are probably collector's editions and stuff like that because they were really expensive. Yeah, one yeah. of them was 200 bucks. Yeah, it's probably a bundle. Yeah, or, or, or something. Or like... it's Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which, because <laughs> that, that special edition is 200 oh, bucks. 200 is it bucks? really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So, so it'll be come cool. with a Humvee. <laughs> it comes with a Humvee? <laughs> <laughs> it's your down payment on it. Yeah. It runs on vegetable oil like Arnold's. <laughs> <laughs> well, so uh, that's kind of no news because we know there's a bunch of stuff that's going to be announced at E3, <laughs> mm-hmm. but it's just exciting to see the, the 21 <laughs> entries there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then uh, there's been some rumors about the Nintendo Direct that's happening at E3 being 45 minutes long, which would be pretty darn long. for. I mean, they're usually closer to 30, Yeah, 35. I think la- last year's was 35? I feel it was 35. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, there are so many games that are still slated to come out this year, and I'm sure there are some that haven't even been announced yet. And so I think it makes sense to have a nice beefy direct. Um, it's not Microsoft's, but it is. No, it's not two hours. It's not two hours. <laughs> and thank God. It's, I, well, I, it's, it's 45 minutes and then eight hours of Treehouse. Treehouse. <laughs> <laughs> I already bought beer for Microsoft. All right. Oh, two really? hours, yeah. I'm going to try to come oh, over. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. What, what day is Microsoft's? Sunday. That's Sunday? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Very like good. Sunday at three, 3 in the afternoon or something. I'll be watching it here. So yeah, okay. um, let's do it. <laughs> we're moving to our main topic and uh, we're, we're giving our E3 predictions and all that. And, and probably if you're listening to this and you know what E3 is, but just if, if you don't um, or to just kind of go over the history of it real briefly, E3 is the uh, Electronic Entertainment Expo mm-hmm. That's what it is what it's E3 is short for. It's and going it's on for a long time. The trade show for video games. It's been around since 1995. And prior to that, video games were at like electronics and computers trade shows and they like were kind CES, of, Consumer yes, exactly. Electronics yeah. Show in yeah. Vegas. And they were kind of pushed to the back because it wasn't at the forefront. And so they, you know, whoever it is in the industry decided we need to have a, a thing that just features video games. So it's been around since 95. And most of the time it's been in Los Angeles and happens in the, either May or June. It's been June for a long time now. Yeah. So uh, just to give you a little background there, and there's always lots of big game announcements, and Nintendo has been doing the big direct presentations at each one. And so uh, that's just going to lead us into we're going to give some, some of our, the three of our predictions for how the direct is going to go. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So we'll, we'll just get into it, right, guys? Yeah. I would say uh, if you're listening right now, we're here's how we're going to talk about the direct and our predictions. Uh, we broke it down into seven different areas so we'll talk about the opening go through our predictions and then go through unannounced games uh games that nintendo will shadow drop demos uh a second to the penultimate game and then the secret surprise one more thing at the end yeah uh so um does anybody want to start with what they think is going to open the direct this year's nintendo direct Ooh. um one of you guys because i'm still okay. open uh, <laughs> i would throw my dice to say that I'm gonna bet it all on Animal Crossing. Yeah, I. I that was my prediction as well. All right, so nah, I, don't copy me. I, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I. Uh, I'm really bad at making one choice. So like, I have a lot of like waffly answers here, and I'm gonna try to resist actually doing that and just give one of my one of my options here and i I was for a long time i was like when we were thinking about this episode i was like animal crossing they're gonna open with animal crossing but i'm gonna change it up uh i'm gonna say a new mario sports game oh that would be nice i feel like they the last several directs they've opened with something we haven't heard of yeah now we've barely heard anything about animal well the last one was uh damon x machina right that was e3 right last one right right, right, the september one was luigi's mansion okay right and uh the march of 2018 was or, or there was or the the february recent one was mario maker 
to anyway the last several they've opened with something that's a really good about. point are you gonna yeah. go for like strikers soccer I'm or trying to, like a whole new i'm just saying there's a mario sports game <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> i think it's likely that it'd be either golf or or strikers I, I i have to feel it would be golf golf would be tight yeah golf golf makes the most sense to me especially after the success of golf story and I, people are clearly aching for like a mario golf style game you know what i mean and i think doug bowser recently said that mario golf was or excuse me uh that uh, golf story was the game that he's been playing the most recently interesting Um, so that might be a little hint but yeah i think that's a really good prediction patrick um so uh maybe we'll see who's right i I think Uh, there's a good chance uh, uh, before we move on i i uh see i i thought that my first guess was also Animal Crossing, just basically because we have seen none of that game. Right. And it basically, is. like I think we've seen literally none of that game, just a pre-rendered cutscene that so they it made. Feels for like the a direct. good thing for them to open with because we don't know anything. About exactly. It. See, it feels like it kind of fits what you were talking about, just because like I feel like they would show, uh, like an Animal Crossing thing with a, a, a t- title reveal with lots of gameplay and release date. Right, I think that would just be a really hype way to open it, and I would say either that. <laughs> I, I am going to waffle. I'm going to tell my other two. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> I would also say Smash character reveal. Just imagine it starts the direct, and then all of a sudden you see the shink of the Smash thing, right? And then Are you going to give us who you think it is? Erdrick. Erdrick. I think I think they're going to show Erdrick, and I'll tell you why I think it's Erdrick a little bit later. Okay, uh, because I I think. I think there's a possibility that we might be getting two character reveals for Smash Ooh, at think the that's C3. Good. Okay. Yeah. Do you think so? Let's wait. Let's well, so that let's, okay. We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll 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 <laughs> I think yeah. that ties into our next point, which is what sort of unannounced new things are we going to see in this Nintendo Direct? Things we haven't heard about yet. Sure. Uh, uh, you know, you talking about a sports game. Uh, what would be cool if we got like a Wii Sports or Wii U Sports Resort? Oh, that, that would if, be if so we get good. A go- if we get golf. Then we get like a collection to play all of those games or it'd be like, cause I was thinking like maybe Mario bowling, maybe a reskin, um, but any of those classic Wii games. That I, I don't think you have to even reskin it. I think you I just think call so it either. me sports, like me sports resort oh, or that, something like that. Yeah, you know what a, I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Just cause it's starring the me's me like you just collection. turn the W upside down and you just resell it. Like hmm. I think so many fucking people would buy that. We sports is most, like the number one in, or one of the makers. Mar- it depends on how you break it down, but like it's one of the top selling software, right? If of all the, time. Of yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I think that would sell like hotcakes. Yeah, you're right. Me bowling would yeah. kill. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And like the table tennis thing, and basically the Joy Cons are just Wii Motion Plus. You know, so yeah, exactly. it would work perfectly. Well, it. Since you've given us that one, what else do you think? Uh, unannounced stuff we might see in this. Uh, at this. Uh, I'll else? also say I think we're gonna get another franchise. Um, with a Nintendo character in it. I couldn't figure out what it might be. Maybe it could be like a Dark Souls with a character skin, um, but something like uh, Cadence of Hyrule. Or, oh, you think we're going to get a new mashup kind of? I think, or like a Hyrule Ro- Warriors kind of game. Well, see, I think that this might be a great opportunity to bring in whatever Retro has been working on uh, mm. for the past few years before they got on Metroid Prime 4. I mean, obviously, we've all been talking about the Star, Pro- Star Fox Grand Prix I, thing that's for a been long you, time. David. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's just me who really wants that game. And, I, and granted, that was a big rumor last year, and that has all but died down, yeah. the rumor mill. But I mean, maybe Nintendo just like really cracked down on whoever was leaking that shit and fired who was ever leaking stuff, you know? Right. So like, that very well could be the case. I refuse to believe that like Retro has only been working on a port of Tropical Freeze and Metroid prime trilogy this whole time you know so i think that uh i would love to see whatever retro is working on and i would love it to be Star Fox grand prix um what about you patrick I, so i think like we talked about i think we're gonna get a smash dlc character that we don't know about um i think that we're gonna get a well possibly get a, a wii u port either i think they could tie in super mario 3d world really well with mario maker 2 like okay. a little bit of mario maker 2 stuff and drop that or maybe the wonderful 101 i think something mm. to fill in a little gap somewhere and there's no gaps in the schedule but you know for 2019 but uh yeah but, but the schedule's already so packed that's why it feels so hard to predict unannounced games because they can't have too many of them right um but I, uh, I would also maybe love to see a return to a franchise like you were talking about i think this is the year to really bring back f0 please oh, i would love that please please bring back f0 they just buffed falcon all right yeah <laughs> that means the f0 is all but confirmed please bring it back i'm, I'm begging you uh one last unannounced thing i think might happen too is i think 
you know how we got now that there is no 3ds i think we might see a budget title announced Okay. Uh, that that could fit into the schedule really well, like a WarioWare game for the Ooh, Switch. That'd be really nice. Um, would be my guess. Uh, some you know something that's in the twenty dollars range or something, kind of like how we saw Box Boy, Box Girl come out. Mm-hmm. WarioWare would be awesome. Let's get Wario Waluigi Wear. <laughs> Waluigi yeah, Wear, <laughs> dude. Waluigi Wear would be tight. That's such yeah. a good idea. I don't think we're ever gonna get a Waluigi single player game, but fans would kill for any Waluigi representation in any game. Yeah, and I, think, I think that's honestly a great way to do it. I think, yeah, I I think, think so having too. him do a new WarioWare style game, I think would be an excellent idea. And it'd be a good way for them to basically give him a game without like kowtowing to the fans and giving them something just because <laughs> they really want it. You know what I mean? My uh, least likely sort of uh, unannounced thing, and I was only, and I, we're, we're recording this a little earlier than we usually do too. And uh, typically on the first Tuesday of the month, Nintendo announces the NES games that are coming to the Nintendo Switch Ooh, Online. I'll, I'll Google it right now. Um, but if they don't announce one tonight, then I think maybe we are going to finally see Super Nintendo games. Mm-hmm. I just saw, I got the Twitter. It, did it just yeah, come up? Yeah, right now. Well, yeah. uh, what, what is it? Oh, we want to talk about it right now? Yeah. Might yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to retract that. They're not going to sh- <laughs> They're not going to release Super <laughs> oh my, Nintendo what games. What even are these games? Uh, one is City Connection. Never heard of I've it. I've never played City Connection. Uh, but we have Double D- Dragon 2. Okay, I know that. Uh, which is dope. Um, volleyball. Oh, that's, that's it. Never that's mind. it. <laughs> yeah, <sorry. laughs> I mean, it's called Double Dragon 2, the that's, revenge. That's a pretty big, uh, wah, wah. yeah. I maintain that they're not going to do that until September then, if they do it. Really? At all. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll talk about that later in the predictions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any other unannounced things that you guys think might happen in the direct? Spelunky. Spelunky? Spelunky 2. Give it to me. I want it. Um, what about anything they might just say is available now? Um, like any, a, sh- like a, a shadow, shadow drop? drops. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll, I'll go ahead and start. I've got three here that I think, uh, or actually I have four, but I'll go through them quickly. Um, I think the one that makes the most sense to me, and I think that would be the biggest, like giving the fans a bone is Metroid prime trilogy hmm. because we know it's done. You know, pretty much everybody has said that it was supposed to be, uh, announced, uh, at, the game awards and then all those same people have been saying it's been done right and then everyone thought that it was going to be announced at the next direct and then it wasn't and the next direct and it wasn't like they have got to be done with that already right i think they're just sitting on it waiting for the right time to do it and i think they're not going to be saying anything about metroid prime 4 at e3 right and i think instead they're going to hold people over by being like hey we have metroid prime trilogy and it's out today and you um, digital only um that's where it gets tricky it's hard to that's true shadow drop something that isn't um yeah only. sure let's say digital <laughs> only. Uh, <laughs> uh the other ones that i i thought of i think cadence of hyrule would be a great yeah that's uh, mine drop. that's yours well I'll, I'll let you talk about that if you want no then i okay. put uh, a free-to-play game um i think we'll definitely see a free-to-play game coming there today like per, uh, perhaps that roller champions game we were talking about last week oh coming to the switch yeah coming to the switch nice and then uh and then see this is where i put a wii u port i think that okay. a wii u port would be a perfect shadow drop sort of game okay you know? um, well game any Game. Uh, I mean, there's not too many left. There's like Pikmin three, uh, and then 3D World are really kind of the yeah, only two point. I can think of off the top of my head. But uh, so you're thinking Cadence of Fire Roll, Patrick? The other one I I have is maybe a Hat in Time. Oh, they did say they were working on it. Right, Hat in Time would be sweet. Yeah, but uh, we'll see. I is there know. a reason to play ahead of time if you have Mario Odyssey? <laughs> <laughs> is that mean? That was mean. Yeah, that that's pretty mean. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I I'm sorry. Feel, I had in time devs. I uh, kind of feel that way too. Yeah. I'm not, it's not something I'm excited it about. Lo- I mean, just, it looks fun. It's just something I thought might. Uh, happen. Speaking of free to play game, I would love to see if we got an Apex Legends port. Ooh, that seems. Do you think possible. they could do it? Yeah, we. I mean, we got Fortnite. Yeah, and but I mean, like Apex does play when. And can't you play that on mobile too? Or no? Uh, no, not right no, now. Okay. Um, but you can set the quality pretty low. Yeah. It looks like piss. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. It probably but would. still, it. Would you want to play a piss colored <laughs> Apex Legends oh, on your Switch? I love piss all over my Apex. <laughs> <laughs> I would still play it. It's that good of a polished game. Yeah. 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 That's, I, how I, much that, I that's love a pretty good it. one. Honestly, if they finally put Apex Legends on Switch, it would justify all the times you've talked about it on this podcast. <laughs> yeah, it would. And do it for me. Please respawn. I know you're listening. Uh, what about uh, is that anything else? I, no, that's it for me. What about for, for shadow drops demos? The last director two they've just put sp- kind of available now sometimes, or just talked about they're going to bring demos for games. Do you guys think we'll see any demos released or what, or talked the, about the demos that we've gotten? Is Yoshi and yeah that 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 was an available today demo, and so was the demon Demon X Machina. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. That one. And I think, I think those were the February. Direct. I remember like existing demos have been like Kirby games, like mm-hmm. Kirby's Epic Yarn. They had one for that. They had one for. I mean, they had the sort of like Splatoon and Arms test things and the oh, Mario right. Tennis test thing. So my prediction for a demo, depending on when it, the release date is, is maybe we get a Luigi's Mansion demo. Yeah, I had that on here. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. that's a solid bet. Yeah, because I think Luigi's Mansion is coming sooner than a lot of people think. Yeah. Because we've seen that a ton of it. Thing. I mean, we haven't seen a ton of it, but what we saw looked really complete, <laughs> you know? And so I think that would be a good one. Um, I, I put I put Cadence of Hyrule here. Oh, you think you'll have a demo for that? I, 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 regardless of if it's like it's dropping today, I think that like – having a demo for cadence of Hyrule would be a good idea because that game is very weird and not for everyone. You know what I mean? Or so maybe that's a reason for them not to. Have yeah. That seems like <laughs> yeah. that's both ways, but, <laughs> but either way, it's have like a backlash. Or something. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think, yeah. So just so people don't think it's a Zelda game, just straight up going into it. You know what I mean? Cause it's a very different kind of game. Um, that was one I had there. Uh, and then in addition to Luigi's mansion, I also put Bayonetta three. Hmm. I think that they could uh, basically be like, here's the release date for Bayonetta three. And there's a demo available now. That'd be cool. Yeah. I think that would make sense. You got any other demos, Matt? Um, I do not have any other demos, but I would love to go to some of our community thoughts. Sure. And community. Picks. Can I share my last demo suggestion? Yeah, absolutely. It's, you may not. It's no, Damon. I think they might drop another Damon X back in the demo. Oh. <laughs> get two demos. That's actually not a bad idea with all the feedback from players. Yeah, there was a lot of people unhappy with it and, and we haven't really heard anything about it. That's so true. I'm wondering if they decided to, we might hear it got delayed, but here's another one. Well, also the demo for, for Damon X Machina was not called a demo. It was called Prototype Missions. Yeah. You know, mm. so like they could put out Damon X Machina demo. They did you know? that for Octopath Traveler. They put out one, they put out two, yeah, dem- they put out they two, put two That's demos right. and took feedback. Yeah. So I'm kind of wondering if the same thing might happen here. Damn. I think you're on a roll with some of these predictions, Patrick. Yeah. Thanks. I've spent a lot of time thinking about this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been in rehab, so I haven't. No, <laughs> what do you want to share, Matt? Uh, I was just going to say, uh, us talking about all these unannounced games and demos, I'm just thinking like a Metal Gear Solid collection could be coming Ooh, to the Switch. That'd be nice. So, like, a Metal Fan- Gear Solid collection? Yeah, like Phantom Pain, Snake Eater, um, all all the good ones. I can't think of I guess, <laughs> uh, Metal Gear You're Solid. saying it because of all the Konami connect- collections that have been yeah. coming recently. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess that would that make sense. Switch. I mean, it's a little more next gen than a lot of the collections they've been putting out. It's been mostly eight bit <laughs> stuff, but yeah, I could see Snake Eater coming. Dude, yeah, 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 just like an upres of the three DS. Um, going to the community thoughts. Uh, yeah, so we asked. We should say we asked our our Facebook group, our Switch heads, if mm-hmm. they had any uh, predictions for E three. Yeah, just going into some of them. Ryan Robinson, uh, shout out. By to the you. way, Ryan Robinson. Uh, his, his predictions lined up extremely close to mine. I mm-hmm. swear I had these before. Do you both have insider information? Before <laughs> he posted that, these ideas were all, um, I swear. Because yeah. he was talking about Mario Sports game too. And, yeah, yeah, and, some, yeah. and like a lot of the same things. Yeah, he shares um, kind of safe bets are Animal Crossing, Luigi's Mansion, and then pretty likely is uh, SNES games. So more of the Nintendo Switch Online mm-hmm. going to different consoles. Um, and seeing a brand new Zelda, mm-hmm. Paper Mario, Mario Party DLC, or a brand new Donkey Kong. Mm-hmm. These are not for demos. It's just generally. Yeah, just, yeah, general. just general yeah, ideas yeah. of E3. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, there's some good ones. And we can talk about those more now or, or in a little bit. Whatever you yeah. guys think. Yeah, so. let's talk about one more. Yeah, yeah, let's do one more. Uh, Rob's, Rob Stemmen says... Metro Prime Trilogy, mm-hmm. we all want it. <laughs> Wal- Waluigi standalone game. Yeah, there was a lot of requests for Waluigi. I think Amanda wanted a Waluigi and, and maybe yeah. somebody else. Alejandro too. just said, no Waluigi, no sale again. <laughs> <laughs> Come That's on, dude, you're better than this. for two years. <laughs> Uh, yeah yeah. let's come back to these yeah we'll we'll come back to them later because there was there were some juicy ones in there for sure yeah definitely and uh, we we have some of them on the list already as well so moving on then um nintendo likes to do this thing where they kind of fake us out with a this is the end of the direct and then say one more thing what do you think the fake out last thing will be um i'll go ahead and start i think it's going to be the luigi's mansion i think they're going to pretend to end with luigi's mansion (laughs) okay that's Um, interesting yeah what do you guys think I think this is where we're going to see a rare replay. Ooh. Oh, not at Xbox's event. I don't think so. Okay. I think we're going to see it here uh, and then maybe more Astral Chain stuff. Oh, I think that's possible. Yeah. Like gameplay and maybe some Astral Chain, like, I don't know, 
fox skins or something like that. <laughs> Nintendo loves skins. <laughs> See, I feel like because I'm trying to think of like the the visual of the whenever they do the directs, you have like the panels that kind of come from the right to the left, and then there's like no more after the last one. You know what I mean? And I'm seeing that come in, and then I'm seeing it kind of go dark, right? And it's like a question mark or whatever, and it goes dark, and then you just hear a bring of the super nintendo sound and then that's when we get the snes online reveal. and you, you think that'll be the like real true ending no 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 i think like, that'll be the penultimate the fake, right yeah. the fake out right i think they're gonna be like we've got snes coming you, it, like because yeah 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 because even with the new nintendo games announced just now well yeah i mean you, i'm not saying that they're necessarily going to come out right, no, day I, and day like no, uh, with you. e3 but it's like but just like saying Hey, it's gonna come. even if it is in September, you know, being like, hey, these are coming. Please renew and they your subscriptions. Don't, yeah, they don't say when. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like for all you people that use your Twitch Prime uh, subscriptions. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, I would say that, or um, maybe the retro game, but probably not. Uh, and then uh, I, I also put Link's Awakening, um, but they reveal that there would be new mo- uh, new modes and new dungeons Ooh, as well. Be cool. Because I think they're going to charge sixty dollars for this game. Um, whether we like it or not. And so I hope they pack it with more content than yeah. the original Game Boy game. Yeah. Um, then what about our one one last final true ending to so the So when they're like, Nintendo oh, Direct. and one more thing. Exactly. Yeah. What do you think that one last thing is going to be? <sighs> man, I have written here in all caps, F-Zero, I mean, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> 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 I really, really want F-Zero. Uh, I think that that would be so fucking hype if they're like oh and one more thing it goes dark and then it's just you see we the hear, blue falcon like go right across the screen city music yeah exactly yeah yeah <laughs> where it goes across and you hear come on and then it's like <laughs> dude i would fucking nut <laughs> and you know that's gonna have labo vr <laughs> yeah. Yeah, want, will, if smash has labo vr i expect every game to have labo vr and that includes <laughs> cadence of hyrule uh, <laughs> f-zero labo vr is gonna make you throw up for sure. yeah for sure uh i uh I, i've got a couple more but you guys say yours because i don't want to step on yeah. your what do you think, Matt? Um, I think it's going to be uh, either a new Zelda, like brand new Zelda, Ooh, like Breath of the sweet. Wild. Yeah, um, I'm tingling. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or we're going to end it with a new Smash character. Oh, uh, you think I they would end that. with a Smash character? Totally. I could see yeah. that. Wow. We could bookend the entire direct, possibly with Smash. Oh, with both. Oh, okay. Ooh. See, see, I, I am convinced that uh, that we're going to be seeing a reveal of the Microsoft rep for smash at Microsoft's panel. Right. So I so that, that, that was, that was my prediction is that we'll be seeing maybe Erdrich or whoever the square rep is at the beginning of the direct. Uh, and then, but at Microsoft's event, Ooh. we'll be having a reveal banjo. for banjo Ooh. right or or maybe or steve, minecraft steve yeah. or master chief right but i think like banjo is clearly the front runner right now and would be the most hype it would get the most people excited um but i feel like i just feel like we're going to be seeing a lot i'm kind of jumping ahead but i, I feel like we're going to be seeing a lot of switch games or at least more than two switch games at microsoft's event all right I think it's going to be an, uh, uh, you know, despite the fact that they said 2019 software, I think the one more thing is going to be a 2020 game. Oh, okay. And they're going to say, you know, come in 2020 at the very end. Right. Um, and it's going to be, uh, I think, I'm not sure, but my, I, I won't hedge bets too much, but new Star Fox maybe mm. or, or Pikmin. Uh, Pikmin 4? Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like it's going to be. See, I think I'd be a little let down if that was the one more thing. Well, yeah, I can, I, I for can Pikmin, see is that what you mean? Huh? I just feel oh, like Pikmin. I was trying yeah, to yeah. think of what <laughs> yeah, I, what yeah, IPs it could be because they, you know, I think it's going to be something new we haven't seen on the Switch. Yeah, um, that's going to be their one more thing. Um, so those are the two I came up with. Um, or maybe it's a new IP like you talked about from from Retro or something. Yeah, I don't think it's really fair to do this to our feelings, but I'd be remiss if I didn't say Mother Three. <laughs> you know, because honestly, like. I mean, everyone has predicted Mother 3 for every E3 prediction since it came out on Game Boy Advance in Japan, (laughs) right? Uh, But, like, we're looking at a new Nintendo here. A lot of the content stuff that they had issues with is no longer an issue for Nintendo. Like, you know, we're getting, like, uncensored nudie titty games on Switch and not on PlayStation. So it's like, I think that we're in a new era, and I think Reggie is finally gone, and I think for some reason he just really didn't want Mother 3. (laughs) to come to the u.s <laughs> and i think now that he's gone i think doug bowser's like sorry rego i'm gonna do I'm what gonna i want steal your thunder yeah right yeah now. so i think if it was ever going to happen this is the year speaking of doug bowser you think he'll be in the drink i hope so that would be cool i hope so That'd be great yeah he's I, i'd love to see some of his personality you know what i mean 
Um, either that or Furukawa. We don't really ever see Furukawa doing anything, right? So if like if he was out there, uh, kind of showing some face, it would uh, give me some more uh, confidence in him as the president of Nintendo. Uh, well, going back to some of the uh, community ideas. Yeah, let's, uh, let's hear those. Just kind of uh, breezing through some. Uh, Tommy Green suggests the new wrestling game in the style of WWE No Mercy or the Ooh, WCW games. That's a, that's a good one. The, that was uh, the N64 one? Yeah. N64 like w, uh, WWF versus NWO. Was yeah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. liked those games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were good wrestling games. Those yeah. Great. That would be cool. I know so Tommy's a huge wrestling fan, so <laughs> shout out to Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I think uh, – uh, were, were there any others in there? Uh, there are some more Tetris 99 news. Oh, I think that's I, – I hadn't thought about that, but I think that's that's possible. Um, yeah? Oh, like, uh, the, like the second the half mode, of the DLC? Yeah, the yeah, other yeah, yeah. DLC. Well, yeah. uh, everyone is saying town, which I love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people were saying town. I'm surprised you didn't say town. Like, yeah. You yeah. Know, Bri- that was Brian gonna, who posted that right You think they're going to open and close with town? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. It's going to be a town-centric direct. Yeah. It, here's, here's how it's going gonna, it's gonna to look. We're going to get the Nintendo logo, and the first one is going to be the front of a passport. And Ooh. then it's going to zoom into the passport and it's going to open. It's going to say your uh, passport to town. <laughs> wow. It's going to take you're, you through You're town. committed to this passport idea. You were talking about that last week too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I guess the last thing on here for our predictions is just kind of other general specific. Yeah. I kind of thought maybe we could go through the games that are coming out um, and, and, and kind of talk about if we you know think they'll be in the direct and, and that kind of stuff and what, what we hope or, or want to see or what we might see. Uh, mm-hmm. Like there, there's four games we have specific dates for. I was going to lump them together and that's super Mario maker two, the Marvel ultimate Alliance fire emblem and astral chain. Do you think, I think it's likely that most of those games, maybe not Marvel ultimate Alliance, but yeah, I think we've seen a lot about it. We have. And, 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 um, so maybe that one won't be in the direct, but I, think I kind of other... don't want to see it in the direct, honestly. Yeah, I think either. I think it'd be wasting time. We've seen like so much of that game. Unless already. it's just a mention of the date or something, right? Like, when they right, do a right. quick blaze through of stuff, um, I don't. I, I think the other three are likely to be in it. I think I I don't know if you guys like watched any of those like Game Explain and maybe Nintendo Life uh, got to play Super Mario Maker two, and and in the Game Explain video where they talk about it, they talked about how there was something involving the moon that they couldn't talk about. Yeah, they mentioned well there was some mode of involving the moon that changes something, but we can't talk about it. I, I, I don't so know. So I wonder if that'll be announced. I don't know if we'd necessarily see something about the moon, but I feel like we would see that remaining uh, style. I think they've right. held off something. They're going to yeah, share yeah. About, I think I think I think be it Mario Mario Brothers two or Super Mario Land two or whatever. I think we'll be seeing that last remaining Mario Maker That'd style. Be dope. Yeah, um, um, we haven't even talked about uh, some third party games. Like, yeah, uh, but I was thinking like Witcher three. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. If that's true, then I think it's going to be in the direct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's not in the direct, or, it deconfirms the Witcher three. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. it's not in the direct. I don't think it's happening. Yeah. Oh, they could also show. Now that you mentioned Treehouse, they could show that new Mario Maker style in the. Oh yeah, maybe that's treehouse. where the or in the or in the or in the uh, Mario Maker tournament that's going to be. Happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, um, I think. Uh, we'll probably hear some more about Fire Emblem in this direct. There's been a lot of news on Fire Emblem that's been Japan only. Like mm-hmm. it hasn't been translated except by fans. So maybe they'll show some of that in the direct. Um, I, I don't know. Um, but anything else on those games we have dates for? Um, not really. I, I, I did have some just like other general predictions about okay, the direct. Okay, yeah, go for it. I don't think we're going to be seeing any Amiibo in this direct. Hmm. I think, I honestly think Amiibo is kind of starting to get phased out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think they're going to be releasing these last smash Amiibos and I think that might be it. Maybe we'll see a couple here and there, but I don't think it's going to be a a focus of this direct, or I don't think it's even going to really have much lip service because, you know, we heard that there's going to be no Amiibo, like zero Amiibo support from Nintendo. Uh, They've said that themselves from Mario uh, Maker Maker 2. Yeah. Yeah. So like, and that's like going to be a huge game. You know what I mean? If they were going to do anything with Amiibo, it would be in that game. So I, I I just think uh, this might be kind of the winding down of Amiibo. Um, And then uh, I had here that uh, Microsoft press conference revealing switch games. I really do think that's going to be happening at E3. Um, I think there's just too much time there to talk just about the hardware and first party games. And then, um, Lastly, this isn't quite like something that we would see at E3, but my prediction is that um, there's going to be Switch hardware revisions announced 
a couple weeks after E3. Yeah. I don't think we're going to hear anything about it at the show itself. I think basically they're going to wait a little bit for the E3 hype to die down and all the kind of discussion and talking about everything that's going on. And then as soon as that dies down a little bit, bam, they're just like, hey, there's going to be a Switch Mini and a Switch Pro. And it comes Pro, and, and it comes out in a month or whatever, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, or you know? not, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think, I think, I, I doubt we're going to see hardware, but um, I do think that we're going to be seeing stuff about it very soon. Yeah. Because all those predictions said summer. I also don't think we're going to see hardware. We might see new uh, Joy-Con colors. Ooh, that'd be cool. Um, to match uh, Animal Crossing. And oh. maybe a, a new bundle. Or, or Pokemon Sword With Animal Shield Crossing or, or po- yeah, Pokemon. Oh, we'll probably see Pokemon Sword and Shield in, in the morning. In the treehouse. Yeah, yeah. I think like tomorrow morning we might see a Switch. Oh, yeah. In, oh, the, okay. in the Pokemon Sword yeah, yeah. and Shield Direct. Yeah, yeah, and I don't think they're going to mention that. And obviously because they're doing the Direct for R- Pokemon right before yeah the, the they might direct. give it some lip service but the same I don't thing think it's like marvel ultimate alliance exactly um anything else on the nintendo games you want to mo- talk about you think we'll hear anything about labo oh that's an, like I, no i don't think so because they've kept that separate i think maybe we'll hear like another game like maybe mario kart gets labo vr support oh yeah maybe you know something I mean? like that um and speaking of mario kart i'd love some dlc for mario kart but i'm kind of done wishing for that because we <laughs> haven't seen it yet and i thought it would have come yeah. out already I, but um i don't know i feel like the most likely game for dlc is maybe mario party but i don't know if maybe any, do you think there'll be any dlc for well, any other games? odyssey man like why hasn't odyssey, odyssey gotten yeah. any dlc yeah. Yeah. another world that'd be great yeah 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 or just odyssey too um any other just of the other companies e3 things you're excited to see or or, or any thoughts on any of that i mean i i'm excited to see cyberpunk 2077 i yeah. think that game just looks so cool i'm excited for that i'm excited for final fantasy 7 information because oh, yeah, that's be cool. going to be a huge focus of the square i think the square conference is going to be really interesting because we got that we've got um uh this collection of mana that they've oh, right. been kind of talking about recently and then we've also got um uh what's the other thing that we've got we've got another big game coming from Squ- oh the avengers game I think we're going to be oh, seeing yeah. that at E3 right, as well. Yeah. So I think I think cool. Square's conference is going to be pretty fucking hype. Is is it Square who they are publishing it? Do we right. know who developed it? Square Enix. Are they also developing? I think so. It's not like IDOS or another... Well, I mean, those all fall under Square Enix. Right, exactly. Right? So yeah, it's, yeah. I, I think it's going to be somebody under their kind of banner. Like Avalanche who does yeah, just potentially. Cause. Yeah, I'm not really sure exactly who's working on it, but I, I imagine we've got to see it with the... I wonder if it's going to be... Oh, never mind. That's not Square. I was thinking Rocksteady. Who does, right, like, right, right. Arkham stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, it's WB. But I think, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think, I think Square's presentation is going to be awesome. I'm really excited for Microsoft's presentation as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. two hours long. Uh, I'm stoked for Halo Infinity. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's going to be so tight. I can't wait to play that on Game Pass on my Switch. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm. My Microsoft uh, hope is to see some of that. Battletoads, uh, yeah. footage. the new Battletoads excites me. I loved that game as a kid, even oh, though I yeah. could never get past the third level. Because they announced it last year. Yeah, they just showed like a picture of a Battletoad, like you know, a, a drawing. Yeah, like, and a then logo the, kind the of guitar thing. riff. Me, 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 me. So I think we got to see some. Well, we don't have to see anything, but I hope we see some gameplay from that. Sure. Um, that I think that just about does it. That was um, that was really fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love just gushing out and like predicting and speculating and shit. It'd be interesting to see who got what right, if anything. Yeah. Well, certainly we just covered so much shit. Yeah. At least some of that has got to be right. Hit. I can't wait to see what we got wrong. Yeah, <laughs> like, like really. What wrong. is missing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We and, didn't like, even talk really about like about. the EA their press conference uh, or Snooze Ubisoft what's it, what's it gonna be or EA? Sony's. Oh, Sony are Sony's not going to be there, right? Yeah, uh, so, Sony doesn't have a press conference this year. So yeah. they're yeah. not going to have any. Sony they, has zero presence at E3 this year. Maybe they're not going to be there, but will they have like a state right. of play? They they haven't announced one. I'm I would be surprised if they don't sneak some announcement in during that week. But I don't know what it would be. Maybe I mean yeah, I mean I think like Square's presentation kind of is going Sony. to cover like all the big Sony games that would be coming out kind mm. of soon anyway. You know, like Final Fantasy VII is like pretty much tied to Sony platforms. Yeah. yeah. Good point. Good point. Yeah. So uh, quickly then, what have we been playing this week? Uh, I, I've honestly, I'll start. I've honestly only been playing Smash Brothers for the last two weeks. Really? Um, wow. I haven't really touched any other games. I got, even though I'm really terrible at it, all I'm doing is playing online and being stuck at 90,000 GSP because that's where I'm stuck and I just am terrible but I win sometimes and it's fun the the adrenaline of it and I've been busy so it's been a quick like oh I can just play one match right now yeah 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 Um, so uh, that's all I've been playing really what about you Matt Uh, I've been playing uh, Blood and Truth uh, 
PSVR game. Oh, okay. It's fucking tight. What, 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 what's that's that game like? That's the one that's like the full, a full game, it's right? It's a full game. It's, I think, like 40 bucks. Um, oh, is that the one they announced at that state of play? Mm-hmm. Yes. We talked about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and it's made by Sony. So it's like maybe Sony San Diego. Uh huh. No, I guess that's Rockstar. Kind of like a detective story or something. Yeah, you're like in an action movie. You're like a John Wick character. Okay. But the coolest fucking thing is uh, when you have guns, you have pistols, and you can spin the pistols on your finger. <laughs> uh, that's nice. And so you can ba- you can grab uh, the ammo clip from your chest, throw it in the air, spin your pistol, and then. Uh, toss your gun on <laughs> to, to like, like reload. reload. That's pretty sweet. And then put in slow motion and shoot someone in the head. Yeah. It is like the best action movie simulator and it feels so Man, fun. I got to get a VR headset, man. Dude, it's the best. Yeah. You have to, you guys will have to play it. It's yeah, yeah, fun. yeah. That's yeah, what I've got to have playing. me over sometime. Yeah. Um, yeah, me personally, I've been, uh, you know, I've been in a hospital bed for the past week, so I've been playing a lot of games. Uh, but the new game I've been playing this past week is Marble It Up. Um, it's kind of a, uh, uh, spiritual successor to Marble Madness. Um, I think that's what that game was. It was like an Xbox game. Um, Marble Madness was, was like, like out on the Nintendo. Oh, okay. No, no, no. What, What's the Marble game I'm thinking of? Uh, 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 Marble something ultra. What was that game? Anyway, it's, it's whoever made that game. It's kind of like a sequel to that of sorts. Uh, it's kind of like a ball rolling game, kind of almost like monkey ball, but you can jump and it's way more fast paced. It's way more about like momentum. You know what I mean? It's kind of hard to control once you get really fast. So you have to think way ahead. Um, the game is a little expensive. I think it's like maybe $25. Um, and it didn't, or maybe $20, but it, it doesn't have a ton. It didn't have a ton of content when it launched, but they promised a lot more content to be coming out free over time. But it hasn't come yet no it has now so oh, basically okay. they just put out like a big pack of new levels and they also had it uh discounted so it was like 16 bucks um and it's honestly at first i wasn't sure if i liked it or not honestly because i'm yeah, a big you said that too i'm a big like when, monkey ball uh, fan and it's like it doesn't feel like that at all so that's kind of what i wanted but the the more i played and i actually played uh, some with my friend jeremy and watching him play kind of made me realize how i should be playing the game you know what i mean which <laughs> is, is like balls to the wall you know what i mean well it's just like it's just like going as hard as you can if you die you just try again you know what i mean and so it's like so once i started playing like that i started having a lot more fun and um and it's just it's got a really nice aesthetic to it um it's got some cool music and um at the price that it's at right now discounted with the new levels that they've added and knowing that they will be adding more down the line this isn't the last content pack uh, i think it's worth it at this point and uh, i'd say check it out if you're interested in ball rolling games <laughs> but uh that's, oh boy uh, am i oh boy am i <laughs> uh but yeah that's uh, that's basically what i've been playing awesome well like you said that was fun uh uh hopefully if you enjoyed the pokemon direct and you enjoyed yeah. our show i and can't you, wait to see it tomorrow you enjoyed morning. the yeah. microsoft yeah uh, two-hour press conference right. that's coming on that's sunday hype. yo yeah. i love e3 e3 is like the best time to be a gamer it's like christmas it it's is. totally it's like all this news all the hype and i live off hype yeah <laughs> i live on that with shit. like an iv drip yeah just give me just give me the I, iv drip of hype if you can <laughs> distill it down yeah uh, I'm stoked. I, I really am too. It's like, it's like, and, it, and it's so close, but it's not here yet. And I'm just kind of like tingling, waiting for know, it to start. Yeah. I guess really the first thing we're going to be seeing is like Saturday is EA's uh, press conference. I think that so. Sounds right. Yeah. So this weekend, uh, I'm just going to be here in my hospital bed watching nonstop <laughs> E3 footage. I'm pretty excited. Cool. Well, uh, that wraps it up for us then. Uh, thanks as always to Corduroy for doing the music. Um, you know share the podcast with your friends who are into video games contact us let us know if you have some episode ideas or any feedback or any questions or anything um yeah and if you want to find me specifically patrick i'm pdyx on twitter and in most places uh, i'm monolith fiji at pretty much everywhere on the internet uh i'm matthew on twitter m-a-t-h-y-o-u thank you so much everybody for listening make sure you follow us on twitter at switchheads on Instagram and Facebook at super switchheads. Send us an email at super switchheads at gmail.com. <laughs> just, you know, fucking just look us up. We'll get that website yeah, up we'll someday, baby. We'll get that website up. There's not we- many super switchheads. Just fucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, honestly, yeah. When you search for it, we're the only thing that yeah, comes yeah. up. So. Use Bing or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Use, use Bing to find us <laughs> and then never use Bing again. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for listening. We'll be back next week with a, a huge 
fully packed reaction to E3, Nintendo's E3. I can't wait to do it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we love you so much. We'll see you next week. Um, bye-bye.